I was a nerd before there was a word for it. No, I mean, it's cool to be a nerd now, but it wasn't 50 years ago when I was a kid. If they had these when I was a kid, I would have just ran away from home and joined the circus. I can't tell you which one's a favorite because they're all equally important to me. I put a thousand percent into everything I did, so... You know, it's weird. It's like asking a mother to choose who her favorite son is. You know? People grew up with it, actually. From four years old to uh, 65. You know what I mean? It's like somebody was influenced by something or made them laugh. And that's a, that's a real wide, uh, you know, it's a real wide demographic. You know, I just never wanted to let anybody down, that's for sure. So I put, I put everything I had into all the work. Ren and Stippy was big. Um, they were huge. Look at my hands. Look at my hands right here. I have a plan to turn the homeless into cheese and feed the hungry. I've heard a lot of stories of really sad childhoods, and they're adults. And they said sometimes it, it got them through life, it got them through days. And I said, God, that's like, the fact that I did something that could do that is basically really the real reason. I'm glad I could make children and adults happy because I had a horrible childhood. I had nothing to laugh about when I was young and that's why I was glued to the TV. We only had three channels, you know, and TV would go off at 11 o'clock at night and I would watch the test pattern. You know, <laughs> This conclude, this complete, this conclude, that is all.